Hi everyone and welcome to Billy Fitzgerald Golf and tonight I want to go over a mistake that I see day after day and that's the inside takeaway. So what I mean by that is as we set up to the to the golf ball you can see I've got my target line on both sides of my of my golf ball to kind of know where I'm at as the club goes immediately to the inside. Now there's a number of reasons why we would do that. Maybe we're too top heavy and the club is trying to set us back on balance. Maybe we're trying to make a big turn or we're trying to do a one piece takeaway. All I know is that as soon as you take that golf club inside, you're gonna pay for it on the way down. We're probably gonna be coming over the top or way too far from the inside. Now, we know what the swing looks like. So if I take this hula hoop here, now this is a very general idea of what the swing looks like. Now, in my opinion, the swing is a little bit more out and then it works up and away and then it's a slightly more to the inside. So it's, it's definitely is working more outside and we shallow the golf club out on the way down so it's more on an inside path. As soon as I take the golf club too far to the inside, my swing looks like this and we re usually recover with an over the top move. Or if we don't, it's very hard to get the, the golf club on the golf ball unless it's teed up from that far inside. So to relate it to another sport, if we were going to play tennis or baseball and I had a ball coming at me, I wouldn't make the racket or the baseball bat go to the inside and then come over the top of it. I just hit every single ball right there. But we do that in golf. Now with tennis or baseball, as the ball's coming at me, the racket's going to work back, it's going to work away from me a little bit, and then it's going to shallow out so I can have more of a direct hit into the ball. Let me do that one more time. So it's going to go out and away so I can have more of a direct hit, or the racket shallows out so I can have a direct hit. Again, look what's showing up, line of compression. It's not going to happen if I take it too far from the inside. So to begin to feel what that is, you can take a wedge and just with one hand and you can feel the club go out and it's going to work back and in, out and back and in. So that is, that is what I'm going to try to do with the driver, but that's what my full swing is going to look like. So again, out and back and in. So it makes it pretty easy for me to hit a pretty clean shot when I do that because where the club is coming from now, it goes out and away and then as it's coming down, see it's more of a direct hit. If I took the club way in here and then tried to come back to it, see I'm going to hit the ground. Or if I got way in here, see the only way I can get to that ball is to come over the top of it, which has its own set of problem. So again, practice just one hand and just to get the feeling of what it's like for the club to loop or go out and then shallows back out. And see, I don't even have to hit it that great. I hit it a little bit behind the golf ball and I still got away with it. Not so much if I come back down on that inside bat path or come over the top of it. So I'll get my seven iron back and I wanna take you through a, a few scenarios of, of what needs to happen or path that you should feel when you swing. So we were just doing that with the wedge. So it's out and away and then in. So as you can see, when I get my hands on the golf club and set up correctly, the face of the club, it's not a bad idea and it's okay. I see a, a number of really good players that take the golf club or face to the outside. And then as it works back, the club face is gonna work away and up. We're not gonna work it back and then go straight from the inside. I'm just gonna come over top of it again. So if you had to make a picture, the loop is actually going to be pretty large. It's going to feel like it's going to go out and then it's going to work. It's going to work up and away from the ball and then shallow out. So when we swing, get my grip on here, you're going to start to feel it's going to go out and up and away and then work down just, just like we were doing with that tennis racket. So feel the club work out, up and away and down. Now, something that I've seen, and I'm guilty of it too, is that I thought if the club head was just outside my hands, no matter what, I was fine or I was on plane. And if I do this and get, the, see my hands are 
are outside, or my golf club is outside my hands, I can still drag the club too far to the inside and I'm going to get stuck with my arms and going to have to come over the top and get steep with it. So I would exaggerate the loop and you can do this with any shot, bunker, pitching, driving, iron, doesn't matter. We've got to get you out of coming way too far to the inside, especially with your short game, and then coming over the top. So again, we're, the club, club head is going to work out and then it's going to work up in a way. Now the great thing about that is, as well is that when the face of the club is out here, see it actually pins my shoulder back as I swing down and I can get the face back down in front of me. So we'll make a, a few swings with our loop out and it's going to work up and away and back down. So it feels a lot like that tennis racket. So let's go ahead and hit one. Get ready to go. Out, up and away and it shallows down. So start looping, stop over the topping and you'll hit a tremendous amount of real quality shots throughout your game following this path rather than taking the club inside. Like and subscribe to my channel, Billy Fitzgerald Golf. Want to take a live lesson from me or you have a question? Visit me at BillyFitzgeraldGolf.com. And thanks for watching.